this story i'll teach you guys how to make a tube busty with a lotion net how to make that dress that tube dress with lotion net you can see right here will be the center for it and right here will be the ample to cut the lotion net i want you guys to stay tuned and can you click on that subscribe button and click on that notification bell to notify you whenever i post a new video hello guys welcome to trust stitches in this story i'll teach you guys how to drag a tube dress with a lotion net i want you guys to stay tuned now let's start I've drew the line I'll be working on right here will be my shoulder line, my bust line, my bust point, under bust and waist line. Now from up to 9 inches, this is where I drafted my bust line. From up to 10.5, right here is my bust point. While from up to 14 will be my under bust. While from up to 17 inches, that will be my waist line. Now, I want you guys to stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Now, what I'm going to do now is to come right here and mark my shoulder line. My shoulder measurement, my shoulder to shoulder measurement is 16 inches. Then 16 divided by 2, which is 18. Now I'm going to mark 18 inches, 8 inch is right here. Now I'll come right here at my bust line. You know 16 divided by 2, which is 8. Now I'll be using 8 for my shoulder. Now I will mark 8 inches also right here. You can see what I did. 16 divided by 2, which is 8. I mark 8 inches. Then I come to my bust line and mark 8 inches. Now I'm going to make a straight line like so. Like this. Then I'll go ahead and make this straight line. Yes. Now you can see what I have. Then after that, I'm going to come right here at this bust line. I'm going to come from this up. I'll mark 6 inches right where will be my chest line. Now you can decide to use 7 inches, that is up to you, that is what you want. How open you want the chest to be. But for this tutorial, I'll be using 6 inches for my chest. Now from up to 6 inches, right where will be my chest line. Now I'm going to make a straight line also like this. Now make a straight line like this. Now you can see what I have. Now, right here will be my chest line. Now, I'm going to name this chest line. You can see. Now, just let I see it. That's where the same chest line. Now, what we are going to do now is just to find our arm cup. Before you do that, we go for our My boss circumference is 38. 38 divided by 4 is 9.5. And I'm marking 9.5 right here. You can see what I have. Then, I can, if, you, if you check on that diagram, on that picture you see that the armhole is sort of like open i don't want the armhole to be that exposed now come right here where i mark the 9.5 i'm going to come up by half inch because i don't want the armhole to be exposed like that you can see what i do now i'm going to make it straight now i'm going to connect it like this from this point the half inch that i came up all to here because i don't want the armhole to be that exposed now i'm going to make this is my cuff ruler, and I'll make it like this. You can see what I have from this is from this dress line. Then I'm going to cuff it like so. You can see what I did. Then I cuff it out like this. I came up by half inch because I don't want the armpit to be that open. For that, you can see that picture that where the armpit is open. I don't want the armpit to be that open. That's why I came up by half inch. Now, what now we have made our ample cuff. Now, what the next thing I'm going to do now is to find my nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple measurement is 9 inches, which is 4.5. Now I'm going to start the marking all the way from my waistline. That is 4.5. I'll come right here at my under bust, mark the 4.5. All the way to my bust point also, I'll mark 4.5. Come to my bust line, 4.5. Then to my chest line, 4.5. Then I'm going to make a straight line like this chest line now you can see what i have now you're going for our dart i'll come right here at this waist line i'm going to take one inches towards my chest my center front then one inches towards my side front you can see so i'm taking one more inches there and i'll come right here at my under bust one inches towards my center front and one inches towards my side Part. you can see then i'm going to make a straight line to join them together then we make it straight like this 
you can decide to use 1.5 that is how you want the books to come out that's how you want it but i just use one inches for this tutorial then i'm going to come right here at my boss point i'm going to mark half inches below you can see what i did then half inches above at this boss point i mark half inches below then half inches above then i'm going to connect it with my french cuff like this you can see that is how you can use your french cuff and i'm going to connect it start from here you can see what i have then you connect it now from the half inches below that is where you connect it starting from your under boss like this then you make a straight cuff you can see what i have then you connect it also starting from this from this side then you make a straight line you can see then you're going to cuff it now i want you guys to make it gently so that you won't make any mistake sort of like that french cuff not to make any mistake like so now you can see what i did then the half inches that i make below that is where i stop not the above then what we are going to do right now is that i'm going you can see as where the illusion net is the illusion net is sort of like before before you join it to the down part it not starts from this edge from this waist so i'm going to come up by half inches so that you can see the allowance to join the down now from this i'm going to come up by half inches so that the remaining half inches will be for what i'm going to join with the down part so i won't start from my waist i'm going up by half inches now starting from here then you can see i'll come right here at my boss line i'm going to mark half inches so you can see right there that the lotion is sort of like slant they slant it so you can try to use one inches you no know, the one inch if you use one inches with one inch that is two inches after opening it because this is called folded so i'm going to use half inches when you open it i will have more inches so you can see that it's sort of like slant. what they use there is not what is up so i use half at this off then i'm going to slant it start from here to this then i left half inches so that i can join it to the down maybe for the gown so half inches i'm going to slant it this half inch that i came up then i'm going to go like this now you can see what i have i slant it starting from here all the way because what the allowance the measurement they use there is no what is at this here sort of like slant so i use half after opening it it will give me one inches so if you want it more exposed you can go ahead and use maybe half to quarter or one inches so i just came up so that i can have i will have this same allowance to join it at the dam now what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to connect it all the way from this boss line now remember this boss line is sort of i use i start from my boss you can decide to use your under but that is how you want the chest to expose so i'm using this boss line then i'm going to connect it from this side from this point to this like so you can see what i have i connect it from this point to this now i'm going to connect it right from here to my armhole so with your free hand or you decide to use your armhole from this to this will be my real armhole so we are no more using this now what i'm going to do now is to create a dart from this top now how do you do the dart i'm going to for my center front i will use i'm going to use half inches for this center front why for my size seat, I've used that of more inches like this. You can see what I have. Center fold, I use half inches that. Why right for my side, I use more inches. Then I'm going to connect it from this point to this half inches above. Then from this point to this half inches above also. Now I'm going to use that with my ruler just to connect this. You can see what I'm doing. Then you go ahead and connect it like this. Now, half inches that towards my center front, why one inches that towards my side front. Now, I'm going to, now you check what you have so that you won't make any mistake. If I check what I have here, I'm having four inches. Why right here, if I check what I have here, you can see, right here I'm having 3.25. So, I want it to be equal. And I'm going to have sort of like just one eight inches so that they will be equal when seeing your front your fabric you won't be shorting by fabric now let's check again right i'm having four why right i'm having four they are both the same now now i'm going to connect it just to make it equal like this then you stop here you can see what i have now when after cutting and you want to seal it they're both the same because they are both the same measurement now four inches 
with four inches. Now I'll go ahead and connect it. I can see what I have. Now I want to show you guys in that diagram. In that diagram, this side is sort of like open at that at that photo. You can see it there that this is sort of like curve. You can decide to leave it like this, or you just come down a little bit and then you curve it at that picture. Now you can see what I have. Then but don't, don't worry. After the coffee that I made, it will get, give you what you want. So I just make a little coffee so that it will be like slanted. Now you can see what I have right here. Then what you are going to do now is that I'm going to check what I have here. Right here I use half inches. Then I'm going to add the half inches back that I have so that it will be equal. That is the dab that I took here. I added it back. Now I'll come to yes, know that. Then I'll come to my under but My under boss measurement is 32. 32 divided by 4, which is 8 inches. Then I'm going to mark the 8 inches. Then I'll add this 2 inches to it. That is 2 inches that, that I took here. I'll come right here at my waist. My under boss and my waist are both the same, which is 8 inches. That is 32. Then I'll add the 2 inches that, that I took here to it. Now I'm going to connect it like this all the way. All the dots that you took back so that it won't be shortened by fabric. Now after that, this is what remember this armpit is no more. Now I'm true with this front side. Now you can see what I have like this, the dot that I took, the ample, then the nipple to nipple. Make sure you measure your nipple to nipple measurement. Well. Now I'm going to cut it out. side seam right here we are going to add your side seam now i want you to um, indicate this this is called unfold because it's called unfold because you are going to open it now we want to put your illusion next to this part you know that you are going to open it but just this is just one part just for tutorial now as i want to cut my nails i'm going to open it but this is just for so remember to indicate the cut unfold now we're going to add your side seam you are going to add your side seam right here just to indicate and right here up so i'm going to use one arrow for the up and right here will be the down then i'm using two arrow for the down just to indicate the down and the up now the side seam is here now where are the, i'm going to add your side seam to this that is your seam seam allowance up also seam the right here at the down seam allowance remember to add to indicate where you are going to add because this is cut without seam allowance then Make sure to indicate where you are going to add your seam allowance to it. Now you can see, now I'm true with this front part. Now let's go for the back part. Now I'm going to use this for my back, the zipper allowance. Now I want to explain something. Make sure that your, your arm O for the front is the same as the back. So if you check what I have here, you can see they are equal. The arm O for the, is the same at the, at the back. You can see, make sure that your arm O are both the same. Now, we are going to pack the because this is for the front. Now, I'm going to, you can see what I have here. I have that of 4 inches. And I mark my that of 4 inches. So, I'm going to take that at this side. Then, I'm using, I'll go with upper inches just to slant like that. Like so. And I'm going to slant it all the way up like this now you go ahead and slant it gently then you... after the slant it is what i have now i'm going to then you go for your bust remember my bust is 38 which is 9.5 now i'll come right here remember where you can see where i place my table not at the zipper and i remember to have the zipper allowance then what i have here is sort of like half inches then I'll come right here, then I'll mark my waist, my waist of 8 inches, then I'll mark the 8 inches, then I'm going to add these more inches that's that I took, then I'll put it back just to make it equal, then you can see what I have, then the half inches that I have here, I'm going to add it, now this is 8 inches, with the half inches that I'm going to add it again, you can see what I have, then you go ahead and make it Connect both points together, then I'll collect it like this, then make it gently like so. Now, this is what I have. We are going to cut it out. 
Now you can decide to make this back. You can see the neck. You can decide to go with maybe you want the back to be lower. You can leave it like that, or you mark just one inches or two. That's how you want the back. Then you slant it. If you want the back to be lower, mark it as the parallel flat. Or but if you don't want it, you can even leave it like this. So for this tutorial, I'm going to leave it like this, and I'll cut it out for you guys to see what I have. After the cutting, and I'm going to indicate it right here. It did the up. And I'm using single arrow for the up. While right here is the dark down, then I'm going to use double arrow just to indicate the down part and the upper part. Now this is the side. You can go ahead and use just triple arrow for this just to indicate the side part. And I'm using triple arrow just to indicate the side. That is the dart where the dart is. Now you can see what I have, then this is how it is, my zipper allowance, my back, now let's name it back part, now this is the breast part and right here will be the illusion head, this is where I'm going to cut the illusion head into, you can see what I have. Now I want to show you, in that photo you can see right there at the armhole, the armhole is sort of like, there is illusion head at that armhole, sort of like down. Now you can try to leave it like this, or if you want it as where it is in that photo, I'm going to teach you guys what you are going to do. Now right here is my zipper part, so I'm not going to use this zipper part. That is, the zipper part is sort of like the middle of your back. Why right here is going to, if you want to see this, remember it's going, this is where it's going to fall. Like this, because right here is the ample, why the zipper part. So you can try, you can go like this. Now if you want to cut it how it is in that photo, now this is what we are going to do. Now you can try to use one more inches. That is how open you want it. Now for this story, I'm going to use one inches. Then I'll come right here again. Then I'll use one inches also. Now remember this side is my under bust. So you can connect it at this under bust, or you come up, or you connect it just of like sort of like. 5 m 4 inches or 3 inches that's how open so if you want it to be open then i'm going to use my underboss just to make it open now what you're going to do now guys you can easily use your finger to do it and i'm going to cuff it like this you can see what i have then you cuff it you come right here also just make it gently then i'm going to cuff it like this you can see what i am doing then you cuff it out like so you can see what i have now this is what it is what is in that photo this is what this is how to draft it no you remember i use my underboss you can try to come up we don't want the ample to be open like this but i want the ample to be open that's why i just so the right side is where another illusion net will be this ample where you are going to cut your net now this is what so i'm going to cut it out now for you guys to see the party to tape it down just for you guys to see how i'm going to cut it i'm going to cut it like this Right, it will be for the back. Just when sewing it, it will be equal just to indicate it. Now, this is where you're going to cut another illusion net here just for the arm hole. Then, illusion net here, remember, it's cut folded on fold. So, if you want to cut it, remember, you are going to open it and cut. Now, this will be for the back part. Now, you can see what I have, guys. You can see the zipper now has the back all everything like this. Now, Thanks for watching Trust Stitches. Kindly click on that subscribe button and click on that notification bell to notify you once I post a new video. And if you don't understand what I have here now, you can easily go to my Instagram as Trust Stitches to me. And I want you guys to follow me up just to know whenever I post a new video on Instagram. Now, thanks for watching Trust Stitches. Can you click on that subscribe button to watch this beautiful and more and more video from Trust Stitches? Bye bye.